Hey, what up YouTube? This is Aizong. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm giving you guys my 8th full character guide for Street Fighter 6. And today we're gonna dive into the world of Luke. In 22 minutes, I'm gonna completely break this character down so that you can take him online and play him quickly. We'll go over his normals, his specials, his drive rush, drive impact, supers and all kinds of tech that I amassed. If you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, but let's waste no more time and take it full screen, alright? Thanks for watching. Alright, let's start off the guy with a character overview. What kind of character is Luke? Well, he's a jack of all traits and a master of some. He is uh, very mobile, has a good 19 frame dash, a really, really fast fireball, and he has a bunch of incredible pokes. So, in neutral, he is dominating. Look at that heavy punch, medium punch there. Uh, stand medium kick, also really good. So, if he gets a block string on you, and he pushes himself out of range, uh, you are the one who's probably out of range and not Luke. So if you're a character with a good fireball and lots of good pokes, people are gonna jump on you. He has the rising upper, just a regular dragon punch, and crouching heavy punch, which is one of the best one-button NTRs in the game. For special moves, he has this uh, flash knuckle, light, medium, and heavy. And the cool thing about this is that it has a just frame timing. So if you land a crouching heavy punch in your combos, you can charge a light or a medium flash knuckle and if you do that uh, you can get a perfect there you can get a nice combo which brings us to the next feature of Luke he does a lot of damage and a lot of corner carry this is almost 6000 and I missed one perfect timing there and it was not even a CA so really damaging character he also has this back heavy punch worth a mention this is a uh, throw bait Moves him back a little bit, and this is one of the most fun buttons in the game, in my opinion. Now, how does that look in game? You got these fireballs to put people into a uh, passive state. They start blocking and defending. Uh, opens up the lane for a drive rush or a jump, for instance. You only need one hit to put him in a corner. And if you have a level 3 on board, you're gonna do a lot of damage. So we're 10, what, 9 seconds on the way. He's almost dead already. And you're done. That is Luke in a nutshell. Now let's break it down, have a look at his normals. First is Crouching Light Punch. Oh, one of the better ones in Street Fighter 6 in my opinion. 4 frame start up, plus 4 on hit. You can get 3 of them on block and on hit, so it's an easy confirm. And it chains into its other lights, uh, like its Crouching Light Kick. These work uh, together. So Crouching Light Punch, Crouching Light Kick, Crouching Light Punch. That is a string you want to be trying because that frame traps against uh, both strikes and throws and you can cancel into a fireball or follow up with a medium kick or a medium punch or a heavy punch because even though he's far away Luke's normals dominate in neutral so these are spacing traps that are gonna be working for you stand light punch moves him forward part of a target combo light punch medium punch heavy punch and that is special cancelable you need to special cancel that on block, so either go into a fireball, into an OD fireball, or you can go into a charged heavy flash knuckle that'll leave you plus four on block. So it's still your turn here, and that is susceptible to drive impact. A lot of people drive impact there, so if you go for your OD fireball, there's a little mini game there where you are in time to recover with your own drive impact. And next up, stand light kick. Uh, pretty good at stopping drive rush. I should use this a little bit more. Crouching medium punch. This is a god button. This has a great hitbox. A very small hurt box. Hard to whiff punish. A lot of complaining about this button. Because it's also plus one on block. And it's plus five on hit. So it's actually a frame trap into his crouching light punch. And also a confirm into his crouching light punch. So you want to use those buttons together. So on block, you might want to attack their drive gauge by going into a fireball. On hit, you want to do a light flash knuckle, which is a really good knockdown. OD flash knuckle for a little bit more damage, also a pretty good knockdown. So lots of options from that crouching medium punch. Really good button. Stand medium punch has insane range. And if you see them press anything and you see it's a hit, you can confirm into your uh, medium punch, medium punch, medium punch, medium punch target combo. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's a good knockdown. You can uh, dash up and pressure, pressure heavy kick. Medium kick, already saw this. Only 7 frames start up. It's, uh, it's not cancelable and it's susceptible to drive impact, but they're just guessing if they do that. It has excellent range. 
And if we do our little uh, three light string here, uh, Luke's gonna be pretty far away at minus two. Uh, he can press his 10 medium kick there. That'll uh, punish counter if they whiff anything. But if they jump, he can still recover and do his uh, light rising upper there. So that's a good button to use after the string once in a while. Crouching medium kick, also a god button. This button clips you low, only eight start up, and he can um, he can just uh, drive rush after that. So what you're going to be doing a lot is crouching medium kick fishing, uh, cancel into the drive rush, into crouching medium punch, crouching heavy punch, and then you can charge your flash knuckle and finish the combo. Put him in a corner with one hit. The forward medium punch is his overhead. It's pretty slow, but it's good if you use it from drive rush. Because it's going to be plus 6 on hit. You can go into your crouching medium punch and get a nice combo going. Put him in a corner from an overhead. Always a good thing to do. Stand heavy punch. One of the best single buttons in Street Fighter 6 in my opinion. This is cancelable. Only 10 startup with incredible range. If you whiff this, you're going to die. But it's hard to whiff actually. <laughs> this is really good. So you can cancel into uh, anything you want, right? Get some good stuff going from that. Throw it out once in a while if you're expecting them to move forward. Then the back heavy punch, we already talked about this. This is a uh, throw bait and this is such a fun button. Uh, it's just really slow on startup so you get thrown out of it sometimes even though it's a throw bait. So you want to be using it after having a lot of advantage. So what you can do is you can like drive rush crouching medium punch, that's plus five. And then you follow up by the, the back heavy punch. And if that hits, it's a punish counter, so you're gonna get a lot of damage from that. Really fun to land that in-game. Crouching Heavy Kick is Sweep. It's uh, 10 startup and minus 9 on block, so it's, it's, it's alright to punish people, I guess. I wouldn't be sweeping back if you block a sweep. That doesn't work against all characters. Then you stand Heavy Kick, uh, varies from plus 2 on hit to minus 5 on block, but you can space it to get better frame data on that. So there, this is plus 2, but from further away you can get it to plus 4, like here. That's even plus 6 on hit, because you hit it on the last active frame. So there are a lot of setups where you can use it, like after your medium punch, medium punch target combo. You can dash forward and press your Heavy Kick, but we'll look into more of those setups um, in the tech session. The tech section, all right. Uh, on counter, a punish counter. You can go into your supers or into your heavy uppercut because it, it will launch them like a, a crush counter. Uh, so does a back heavy kick, puts him in a stagger state. You can drive rush forward into crouching medium punch, get a combo going from there for one bar. But you can also go into your stand heavy punch, into your run shoulder, or even into your OD run shoulder because that cancels into your level two. We'll look at that. Uh, in the super department but that's 5,000 damage for only two bars super good uh, then is forward heavy punch sorry for the annotation at the bottom it's forward heavy punch of course and this is a save on block minus three but you can confirm that into a target combo and that is special cancelable so you can go into a OD flash knuckle for example or on block you need to cancel into let's say a fireball or an OD fireball because this is very negative on block not a huge fan of this button. He has other buttons that have the same range, like stand heavy punch. Crouching medium kick into crouch heavy punch. This is a target combo. This is really good because this will clip uh, back walkers. And you can confirm that. Now it's special moves. Of course, the sand blast. Uh, this travels so fast. It doesn't uh, really start up that fast. It's slower than Ryu and Ken. But people are afraid to jump on this because it travels so fast. Works nice in conjunction with his uppercut, like a true Shoto. If you want to use it on block, I suggest you use the heavy one. Gives you the best frame advantage. Yes, yeah, minus 5, but if you do a heavy one there, you're going to be plus 2, right? So you can harass people with that. Follow it up with a heavy punch, because that reaches from so far away. The OD Sand Blaster will knock, you, knock uh, down the opponent. So no drive rushing behind his fireballs. You can also use it in a corner after a charged uh, flash knuckle. 
If you get the perfect one, you do a medium one and then a heavy uppercut. If you don't get the perfect one, you do a medium one and then a light uppercut. These are his splash knuckles. You use the light one from lights. It gives you a really nice knockdown. You can drive rush overhead from that. They cannot escape that. Like that. That's plus 7 on hit. So you can combo into your crouching heavy punch or crouching medium punch. The medium flash knuckle, you can uh, get that from crouching medium punch or from heavies. And the heavy flash knuckle, you get that from crouching heavy punch and stand heavy punch. Now if you want to charge a light in your medium one for the nice combo, you need to land a crouching heavy punch. So that's either on a punish counter, because crouching heavy punch is very negative on block. You get that from a punish counter or from a drive rush combo. You can charge your uh, medium flash knuckle, then charge your light fl flash knuckle. And you can end there with the, with the heavy flash knuckle if you get the perfect light one. So that's a heavy. But if you don't get the perfect one, you can go for the medium. So this is perfect, so we'll do the heavy one there. The OD flash knuckle cancels from all cancelable buttons. Uh, you can use this a lot from lights to get a little bit more corner carry, more damage. You can end the combo with either a heavy uppercut or a medium flash knuckle. Or a super, of course. Uh, your level 1 and your level 3 will connect. Then here's the, uh, fl the rising upper, of course. Saw that already. A couple of corner combos here from the flash knuckles. Good stuff. Now rising upper, you can use this in combos, but you can only use it if you're close by. So after two hits, for example, or after landing the uh, charged medium flash knuckle, you can use the heavy uppercut. Gives you good Oki. The OD version is fully invulnerable, but this is mostly an anti-air. As a combo finisher, it just doesn't have a lot of range. Might as well go for the flash knuckles. Now he has this run, quarter circle forward kick, and he can cancel into either a punch, which... Uh, is a shoulder like that or a kick which is a overhead both of them are minus on block the shoulder is minus six and you can space it to get it to minus two even to zero I've seen situations where it's zero so you can play around with that a little bit don't really need that at first and the overhead that's very minus on block minus eight I think and it's kind of gimmicky don't really use that much the OD shoulder is one frame faster, it's also armored so it can go through a projectile and uh, you can cancel it into your level 2 for a lot of corner carry and a lot of damage for only 2 bars, so I think that's really good. You get a conversion like that if you don't have a level 3 on, on board, look at that. 4500 there in the corner, you're gonna be plus 3, if you land this in the corner you're gonna be plus 3. Can meet you with crouching medium punch. Well, there's your heavy flash knuckle. An all right knockdown. We see this combo before already. A really good corner carry and doesn't spend a lot of resources. That's good. And if you got him in a corner, you can go into a medium fireball, into a uh, light uppercut. And if you get the perfect one, you can also get a light flash knuckle into a light uppercut or an OD uppercut like that. So that's good stuff. If you wall splat them, you have to do back heavy punch into the perfect flash knuckle. And again, there is the medium fireball into the heavy uppercut. You can also cancel into your level 2 after the light flash knuckle. Using the, the fireball, the medium fireball into the uppercut, that's the easiest way to start off in the corner. Let's have a look at Drive Rush. He can of course Drive Rush row, uh, low with Crouching Light Punch. That'll combo into his Crouching Light Punch twice. So that doesn't do a lot of damage, but it helps people uh, stand up. And if they stand up, you can get them with your overhead, your Drive Rush forward medium punch. Really good. Of course, you can also throw them. But you can also then bait that throw by doing Drive Rush back Heavy Punch. So he has a lot of options. He also has the Crouching Medium Punch that is going to be plus 5 on block. So this is a really good situation to actually 
I shimmy them from. Good damage. So he's very dangerous from Drive Rush in my opinion. He uses the mechanics really well. Already saw that uh, earlier in the video. Drive Rush crouching medium punch on block plus five. You can put your back heavy punch behind that and get a uh, get a nice like auto shimmy from that. Let's have a look at knockdowns. From his light flash knuckle, you want to do the forward medium punch. Uh, that hits uh, as an overhead and it hits meaty. So they can't backdash, they can't mash out of it, they can't jump out of it. They have to block or parry that. So if you can get them to block or parry, you can start throwing them. And you can start setting up your other options. Uh, after a normal throw, you want to drive rush stand medium punch. That's going to be plus one on block, so you can immediately throw them after that. And on hit, you can get a crouching medium punch and get a nice combo going. Even crouching heavy punch is available. So look at that. It's a lot of damage for pressing after a throw. 6,000 damage because you try to do anything after getting thrown. You have to take that. So after a throw as well, if you condition them to not uh, mash, get the crouching light punch going, get the crouching medium punch going, stuff like that, right? Because he has so many different options, he can always open you up with a high, with a low, with a throw, or with a shimmy. Now if you want to dump your meter, you can get a crouching light punch, a drive rush crouching light punch, and that crouching light punch can go into the crouching heavy punch. That's how you can get the party started with the charge flash knuckles. So if you want to dump all your stuff there, you just do crouching light punch, crouching light punch, drive rush, crouching light punch, crouching heavy punch. Now if you get heavier buttons, like a crouching medium kick, you go into the crouching medium punch. The goal is to always go into the crouching heavy punch so you can get your charged flash knuckles off. Now let's have a look at his supers. They're really really good. They can all uh, cancel from uh, from light buttons, all three of them. Uh, just beware that his level 2 uh, only connects after 2 hits. It doesn't have the same range as his level 1 and his level 3. Now his level 1 is godlike. I'm gonna show you that one here. So you can use that in combos, you can use that as a wake up because it's really fast. If you want to use the level 2 after the OD moves, you want to cancel those OD moves, so don't wait until they're in the air. You have to immediately cancel into the level 2. And you can get the level 3 from all of his flash knuckles. Something like that. Alright, now I have Ken here recorded to throw a uh, Hadouken at us. <laughs> Let me show you how good his level uh, 1 is. <laughs> That'll go straight through, punish counter, right? So the first hit nullifies the projectile, and then the second hit goes through and he punishes him. Level 3 as well, really, really good. A couple of setups here in the corner to get your level 2 off. You can do a jump medium punch with a delayed aerial flash knuckle. You have to practice this, I don't really use this much because you can do the same thing from a uh, fireball that goes into the level 2 as well, level 1 also. Nice. You can also get it from a uh, light flash knuckle. Light flash knuckle and go into your level 1 or your level 2 here. Good stuff. Really good supers. Now let's go to the tech department. Um, I want to show you some optimal corner carry stuff here. You want to end in the run shoulder. Really good knockdown. Plus 15 on back recovery. You can just walk forward and throw them. So that's good. You can also uh, whiff the shoulder. If you do it from a non-perfect, uh, you're plus 5. If you do it from a perfect light flash knuckle, you're going to be plus 7 in their face. So you can either strike, throw, or shimmy them. So that looks really, really cool if you can shimmy them from that. Look at this. In-game. Back heavy punch, drive rush forward, crouching medium punch, crouching heavy punch, bang. That's a lot of damage for you trying to take a throw. 
I thought of a couple of frame kills here after the light flash knuckle you can whiff a stand medium punch and if you do that you're gonna be plus four in throw range so they immediately have to guess between attacking a throw and striking so from this situation you can do anything you want right strike throw or shimmy have him wake up with a button here let me demonstrate that you can throw him out of his button and of course you can also combo right here counter hit crouching medium punch here comes the pain good setup now I'm gonna show you also how to use that uh, meaty heavy knee uh, we saw that this was actually uh, minus 5 on block you can get it 5 frames better than it is by whiffing a crouching light punch into the stand uh, heavy kick there you go plus 7 on hit wasn't even a counter hit right so on counter hit this is plus 9 so after this you can get your crouching heavy punch crouching medium punch or just go into lights if you wanna really take some more time to confirm bang look at that a lot of damage meterless and some more meter here some in-game footage here so after the heavy uppercut we whiff the we do the crouching light punch there yeah and then stand heavy kick and she's dead so that was plus seven on plus seven i think yeah there's oki with the medium punch plus four we throw him out of his button and he's done game over so these are some nice frame kills for you to use and i hope that helps you in your game if you enjoyed this content give it a thumbs up if you uh want to leave your uh, ideas about how to play luke in the comments be my guest and i'll see you on the next video all right thanks for watching peace